Ladies and gentlemen, we're testing rail bike version eight. I want to let you know that at this point in my rail bike career, I'm going for a PhD. So this uh, journey of rail bike testing is going to be beneficial to the world when I become Dr. Steve Evans, rail bike. Let's go over the very important updates. Number one, we've gone with a single wheel custom made in the States and bearings. So much simplified uh, design in terms of broken parts, replacement, and we'll see how that works. Nothing has really changed here other than that. And then secondly, we've got a new outrigger wheel design, which is very, very wide, an internal flange. And I know that I did that because there's been a ton of times when the outrigger wheel actually comes off the track. I guess there's like some tolerance to the actual track. And so hopefully that will help it. And then the last thing, which is very important, is the anti-torque device right here. It's hard to see a little bit, but what was happening was the force on this was actually unscrewing the axle. So I've drilled a hole in the shaft collar, put the anti-torque device. By the way, we also have Jamie McCharles with us, drinking in public. That's illegal in Ontario. We'll give him a summons later and we're gonna test. We're gonna test right now. Careful of a derailment. Does that happen? <laughs> All the time. Dude, I can't even keep up with you. You have to stop. How's the new wheel? It's good. I feel like it wants to come up. You know what's happening? Because this rail, because it's so old, yeah. it's fatter than a regular rail. Okay. And I can see it lifting up, but it's not bad. It's working out well. Yeah, Let me great. give it a go. Good form. He's a mad scientist at work. We're gonna get the ass shot. Stop, I gotta edit that shit out, man. <laughs> The gauge is, is um, too wide or something, eh? Yeah, ju just here. Once you get up here, it's better. Yeah, I see. Okay, I see that. That's, this is, it's just because it's so old. Yeah. So it gets a little bit fat. You can try and cross it off. See how it goes. That's better. Yeah, it gets fatter. <laughs> yeah, but it might, it might work. Just go slow and see if it'll go through. Or if you're going to lodge. Oh! Oh, nice! Man.
um, yeah, it's a little bit small, eh? What was the purpose of the flange on this side being different than the one on that side? So according to him, yeah. the inside flange is the one that's used by the train wheel. Okay. And is usually polished. Yeah, it's smooth. And the outside one it's is shot. Much chopped. Yeah, that's right. the logic of it. But these are shitty rails. You're not going fast enough, you're still going slow. You gotta get confident. No, but <laughs> I gotta constantly like turn to the right because it wants to ride up this way. Really? Yeah, because of the, the angle of that. Oh. I don't want to have a derailment. I should at least have a helmet on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's doing this. Yeah, because it's... Oh, I see what you mean, eh? Yeah. I found the parts though. Me? <clears throat> this came on. I had a derailment back there for whatever reason. But this was making some really sketchy noises. Probably because of this. This fell off here. Oh, okay. Well, at least we found it. Those are like 20 bucks each. <laughs> Just so we're all on the same page, these are abandoned lines and those ones are not. Jamie's not actually risking his life. Or is he? That's enough. Yeah, this is enough. So the fixed wheel is definitely a little bit more squirrely than the one with the horizontal wheel. We're not 100% sold on this technique, but I think it was important to try. And we also came very close to live rails. So we're gonna get the hell out of here because we feel like a lot of people saw us riding beside the GO train. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna ride it back. We aren't super happy with what we've experienced, but I'm gonna go for somewhat of a rail bike speed record and massive uh, length of time. Length and speed record. Hey, there's a phone right here. Good phone case. So Jamie and I hate the new wheels, they're a problem. Yeah, they're dangerous. 
big issue is that they just don't roll nice they crawl up the rail and this here the flange the width is good but the flange is touching the inside which is causing the bar to bend a little bit anyway it's kind of sad because jamie never rode the rail bike and he's only seen uh version f we can move that in and there's no point in even having it the final ride You'll never see these wheels again, my friends. Okay, now a serious summary. So, the width of the outrigger wheel, we think is good. The flange, not required, and gets in the way. It actually sticks to the rail. We sure we could move it in a little bit, but we didn't. Anti-torque device is good. And the front wheel, sorry guys. Yeah, this thing's a heap. Yeah, this isn't gonna ha this isn't gonna work so well. We're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna have just the center one, and we're going with the two horizontal you ones. You can see how it wants to like fry it up, you know, yeah. like that. That's also because the rail is so fat, though. But it still sucks. We hate it. You asked for the single wheel. We did the single wheel, and it stunk. So whoever's idea was, now you know it was a bad idea, and publicly shamed on the internet for life. Everyone will remember you as the guy that wanted to do the single wheel. We will laugh and point. <laughs> I've actually seen a bunch of guys with the single wheel that works, but. Okay, stay tuned. Version 75 coming to a YouTube channel near you. Later. <laughs>